Hey guys, this is Zuper here, and today is the second episode of GGG. I'm planning to make this a weekly series, by the way, and uh, at the end of the episode I'm going to clarify a few extra points that I want to make about the series. Anyways, for now, let's introduce today's game. Um, today's game is Binding of Isaac. Yeah, I know, I just did Super Meat Boy, and it's by the same developer, da-da-da-da-da. I really shouldn't do games that are by the same developer, but I'm lazy, and I didn't, and I couldn't think of anything else on the spot, so that's what we're doing. And, um, today's challenge is to defeat Basement 1 and 2, which is admittedly not that hard normally, but since I'm adding the extra challenge, it, 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 it could get hard, yeah. Anyways... I am going to end this here, and then we are going to be going into the spinner. See you then. Alright, we're now at the wheel, and the wheel will decide what the challenge will be. In this wheel, we have reduced difficulty, which will be a new thing that will actually make it easier. As in, like, in this one, I guess it would be, you only have to defeat basement one. I'm going to put that in there because, you know, gambling, there's always at least one good option. You know, it's one good result, whatever. Um... No alter egos, meaning none of the, like, bonus characters that get items at the beginning. Um, no treasure rooms, which, oh god, that would suck. And bombs equal pain. Every time I pick up a bomb, I have to blow it up on myself, and it'll hurt like hell. So, here we go. No tre- Of course, the one that I said that I didn't want. Okay, well, I can't respin, it's- it's the fate of this thing, so I guess that that's what we'll be doing. See you in the game for that. Alright, now here we are in the game, and now, um, yeah, I can't use treasure rooms. I had to remind myself what I was doing. Okay, so, since I can use alter egos, let's see, which one should I use? I think I'm gonna go with Kane, because he has high attack. He doesn't have much health, but he has a very good fighting ability. And I feel like if I can't have treasure rooms, it's kind of important to have good fighting ability. So yeah, we're starting off and treasure chest immediately. Good thing I didn't get bombs equals pain, because that would hurt. Um, yeah. Not much to talk about in an empty room like this, but again, empty room. I okay, huh? Well, I I'm not. I don't have. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting, I guess. You crying blood for? You got nothing to be upset about? Jeez. What you gotta do this for? I need to grab that coin. Just in case I wanna go to the shop or whatever. I don't know. Kane gets a lot of money, so it's good to go to shops with him. And I got hit by a fly. Uh, that is not a good start. There's this treasure room here. Might as well see what I'm missing. And of course, it's Max's head. I don't even remember what that does. I'm not gonna touch it, because it's a space item and I can't touch that. I think it's a space item. It might be a follower. I don't know. Haven't used it in a long time. Uh, I don't like these shooter flies. Like that. Boom. Extra bombs and a silver heart. Yeah. Soul heart. Silver heart. I don't know what you call it. So many different names for it. Let's get this chest, too, because why not? Yay! Money! Ooh, I'm one penny off from getting something in the store, potentially. So, yeah. Oh, actually, this is a good start, then. Secret room! Maybe. Yeah. Okay. How did I know it was there? Well, because that's how they work in this game. Like, anytime there's, like three, at least three rooms surrounding an empty space, there's a secret room there, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna go outside before I use this. Telepills, completely pointless. It moved me up one room, yay. Because I couldn't walk up to that room. I, I simply do not have the ability, as you would come to find out. A key, well, that's something, I guess. Are you gonna get any coins from this chest? Yes, I am. Okay, well, go back to the shop. I never- I said no treasure rooms, but shop? That's fair game, because you have to buy shit, and that's, uh... Sometimes a challenge to get the money for that. 
Brother Bobby, yes, I'll take. And because I'm here and I'm off one heart, I'll just buy a heart. Might as well destroy the fire too. <clears throat> yep. So yeah, off to the first boss room. Hopefully it's not, um... Eh, whatever it is. One of the three headless horsemen. Okay, it's Larry Jr. I can do that. As long as it isn't one of the three headless horsemen, I'm fine. I don't... I hate the three headless horsemen in this. They're just so obnoxious. They summon all the enemies I hate most. Like, the one that spawns on the basement floor summons the little, like, flies that shoot shit at you, but then it shoots... But then it, like, summons, like, eight of them. So then you've got so many shots to, you know, dodge while still having to hit him, and it's just terrible. Anyway, Larry Jr. is super easy. He moves around sporadically, but, you know... He's really quite simple. You just gotta make sure that you, uh... Don't do that. <laughs> Ah, I was lucky that he turned away there. He sometimes does that. When he's about to hit you and he knows that he's about to do it, he just turns back instead. I don't know, it's weird. Yep, there we go. Hit him and kill him. A health up? Now let's move on to the next floor. The basement too. I'm already halfway done with this challenge. Some happy guys. Yay. These, these guys are the guys that will explode. I I don't like these guys either because they uh they run off and you have to chase them around and then they so then you have to be like really close to them and then the bomb just goes off and it's like uh occasionally I'm stupid enough that I get hit by the bomb. Yay! Another special item. I'm getting lucky, I guess. Oh god, no, 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 not fire guys. No! Why did you spawn them next to fire? Why would you do this to me? Game. Basically, when these headless guys touch fire, they become super-powered version of themselves. Versions of themselves. They do like, they do more damage. I think they move faster, and uh, just in general, they're annoying. More annoying than they already are. <laughs> I don't like these enemies that, like, when you kill them, it shoots in a straight line off of them. Because sometimes it's just, like, you have to shoot them directly from that side, and yet it still forces you to, uh, like, you get hit because of shit like that. It's, it's total meanness, I guess. I don't know. I feel betrayed. <sighs> Yay for bomb blowing shit up. Let's see what I'm missing, because I've got more keys than I'll ever need. Vampire Charm. Again, good item. Why can't I get these good items when I do have the ability to use treasure rooms? It's like... The game simply hates me. Which is fine, I guess. It's no big surprise to me. And I'm already at half health, yippee. Ugh. I guess I'll go into the store when I get the chance, because I'm getting money, so I shouldn't have any problem there. Oh, I don't have any bombs? Damn. That means I can't potentially get to one of the two potential secret rooms on this floor. There's only one on any given floor, unless it's like a special floor, but uh... Yeah. You can't really see my mouse because I turned it off because otherwise you'd see my mouse just going all around when I'm shooting. But yeah, there is um, two on the map right now that you can see like two places where there's like three surrounding an empty space. But yeah. Could I get some hearts or like something, anything at all? I'm not trying to... I'm still gonna lose, cause like, I'm gonna get to the boss and then I'm just gonna die, because I don't have any hearts. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to go into the shop and hope for the best here. Maybe a pill that gives me full health or anything? Yeah, but I'm at half health, so you... I, I apparently piss whenever I go into a room now. It's better to have this. Soul hearts are nice, but um... 
they can't regenerate. Like, they can't come back. I don't know, they essentially do the same thing when you don't have full health, but, you know, still. Hmm. I'm gonna hope for the best here. Come on, Lock. Come on. Damn it! Wrong one. Okay, let's see if I can get a bomb out of this. No, nope. not yet. And, um, uh, money! I'm fine with that. That gives you 900, that gives you, um, pretty much infinite money. You're, you don't need any more money after that. <laughs> pretty much ever. Compass might as well. I don't even remember what the compass does, but it's fine to have it. Um, yeah. Hopefully I get a boss that I can manage. What are, okay, Monstro, I can do this. I can do this, I got this. Don't you puke at me. The trick is to hopefully like stay decently close to him so that he like keeps doing this stupid little jump thing. And then like he doesn't do any attacks when he does that. So it's like super easy to do stuff when he's just doing that. I'll throw up on you, but as long as you dodge it, it's not a big deal. And yep, that was easy. And might as well. I've got so many hearts, I might as well look at what Satan has in store for me. A dead cat? Or... A deal with the devil, I think. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it is essentially a deal with the devil. Um... Yeah, I've actually beaten the challenge right now, but... Eh, might as well continue until I fail at life. Or until I get bored. Whatever. Anyways, I need to get this, uh, the pact. Damage up. Okay, that sounds good. Yay. Yay for me. By the way, in this game, I've actually beaten up to Mom before. I have never beaten It Lives, though. Because I'm just not that pro. I am error. Yes. This is actually really good when you get this. Like teleport pills can sometimes take you to this room. Where there's just a guy that says I am error. You get a shit ton of stuff. And then on top of that it lets you skip the floor. To the next floor. Okay. I don't need that heart. Yep. Just as easy as that, I skip to the next floor. Yay! And then these guys. The trick with these guys is just to make sure that you, uh... Don't let them regenerate. Bad gas! I just wanted to use bad gas. It wasn't even a good move to use that there. I actually got hurt because I used it there. But, whatever. Oh, I've got plenty of money. This beggar can't possibly take all of my money. In before I sit here for the next five minutes giving him money and that he never gives me anything useful. A heart? Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, he gave me a 50% off token. Steam sale! Oh, the compass shows you where the store is. Okay, that makes sense. I got plenty of money, so I should go to every store that's possible to go to. Yes, I'm getting hurt. But I don't really care. It's just quicker to do it like this. Alright, the simple sweep. Boom. Boom. I've got the money to do this simple sweep. Ooh, cool, I have death. I'm pretty sure that death chops off your head. Okay, now these guys are my some of my least favorite enemies let me just throw that out there I don't know why they're I I can't go into a room with these guys and not get hit I'm just bad I guess I don't know and they're probably the they're probably like the cream de coup of all the shit that I hate maybe I might get Samson this run I've actually skipped two treasure rooms because of the challenge so, yeah, it's possible that I might beat Mom. 
Actually, it's kind of impossible. Because, uh, I've got one heart left here, and I'm... Yeah. It's not likely. Why did I do that? I have the ladder. I can just go right over. Like, what was my... Oh, no. Okay, I totally intended to do that. Here's the secret room. I definitely knew that that was there. You can trust me on that one. I don't really need to gamble. Might as well get some free money and hearts and... Yeah. I'm already gambling in this. Okay, well. GG. Yep. Anyways... See you guys next time for the next episode of GGG. But you might want to stick around because uh, I'm going to be explaining roughly what I actually like need you to do when you're like suggesting ideas because on the first episode a lot of people didn't really get it. So uh, yeah, catch you for that if you care to watch it. If you don't, like if you don't plan to suggest anything or anything, just don't worry about it. You can just not at all watch the next part okay see you then hey guys this is super here and we're talking about the final part here by the way what's going on here is i've just i have a um i have the recorder like capturing the screen region of like where it appears on the like recorder like what it's capturing so like it's capturing itself capturing itself capturing itself capturing itself capturing itself and i can get stuff like this to happen yeah, that's fun. Anyways, um, yeah, I need to explain how things work. Um, basically, when you do stuff for, like, recommendations, I'm gonna need you to list the game, the challenge, and then, like, potential things that I can put on the spinner. Because it's not always easy to, um, like, if you give me the game and challenge, it's not always easy for me to come up with, like, little decisive things. Also, the other thing is that I would like to note that if you're going to suggest something that's like going to be late in the game or something, I'm going to be honest with you here. If it's anything later than like the first two hours of the game, maybe, you know, I'm probably not going to do it unless uh, if you want, if I think it's a good idea, I might like PM you and then you can send me like a... Um, if you want to get to that point in the game where I might be able to do that, then I will uh, ask you if you would be willing to do it. And if you are, then I will do it then. Because uh, I, I, don't, I don't have time to go through every game that people ask me to do. Like it, it takes time to beat a game to the point where I might be able to do a challenge. Like say, oh, I want you to defeat the third boss of this game. Well, I don't always have time to do that for every game that I do. Maybe once in a while, but I don't... I can't do that every time. Anyways, yeah. <sighs> On a separate note, this is kind of just an update, sort of. Um, Dragon Quest Nine. That will continue um, during the summer, probably. Because, uh... I lost the files, and, uh... I'm gonna have to restart it. Well, not... I'm gonna have to get back to where I was, and then I can start recording it again. But, uh, anyways, this has been Zooper, and I did not know that you could make this kind of design. This looks really cool, actually. I thought that you could only just make the mouse, like, move back and forth and make, like, imprints and stuff. I did not know that you could make, like, a plus of storm clouds here. That's really cool. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. This video will go on forever if I don't stop talking, but I just keep talking, so, uh, I should probably end it here, so, see you guys next time. Peace out. And this has been... G -G -G -G.